the longest running production muscle car in automotive history. The Mustang's long run is still going strong today. Our overview of the original pony car's first generation starts in 1964 and a half. Ford's T5 prototype, a two-seat, mid-mounted engine roadster, was born and looked much like the later Pontiac Fiero. When the pony car went to production with four seats, it still afforded much less space than was common for the era. A Fastback 2 Plus 2 model traded the conventional trunk space for increased interior volume as well as giving exterior lines similar to those of the second series Corvettes and European Jaguar E-Type. April 17, 1964, the day the Stang was officially revealed. 2,600 newspapers offered positive reviews the very next morning and America's favorite muscle car was born, offered in hardtop, fastback and convertible body styles right out of the gate. Features that had been optioned in the 1964 and a half were all now added standard to the 1965 model due to popularity, which in some cases led to mix and match confusion as surprised Ford execs hurriedly ramped up production by taking over lines originally intended for other car models 1965s. More than one car left the plant with cutouts for backup lights but no lights, nor the later wiring harnesses needed to operate them. The 66 model was basically unchanged, but featured revised side scoops, grille, and gas cap, as well as the deletion of the four bars protruding from the Mustang's emblem in the grille. The Falcon-based instrument cluster was replaced with a sportier unit specifically designed for the Mustang. In 1967, the Mustang retained the original body structure, but styling was refreshed, giving the Mustang a more massive look overall. Front and rear end styling was more pronounced, and the Twin Cove instrument panel offered a thicker crash pad and larger gauges. The 68 received minor changes like revised side scoops, steering wheel, and gas caps. Side marker lights were also added that year. In 68, the 302 V8 was designed for federal emission standards that were to take effect and ended up being used in a large number of other Ford vehicles for many decades to come. For the 1969 and 1970 models, the Mustang received a larger body, a more aggressive stance, and a wider grille. And the Boss 302 and 429 models were introduced to homologate the engines for NASCAR. A variety of performance and decorative options were available, including functional and non-functional air scoops, hood pins, and wing and chin spoilers. For more classic muscle car pictures, info, and tips, go to ClassicMuscleCarPictures.com and like us on Facebook.